one of the requirements for a platform is to make it available to all authorized users and to prohibit unauthorized use. So on the surface, this might sound like usernames, passwords, and SSL. But there's a lot more happening with PKI authentication and SAML single sign-on. To learn more about this, please welcome Gary Shepard. Thanks, John. Thank you. If you're a system administrator or an IT manager, you need to know what I'm going to show in the next few minutes. Everyone else, you should be aware of this too. Now, with servers and clients, we have well-known ways of trusting servers. For example, my bank's website uses HTTPS so that I can trust the server. But how does the server trust me? Well, I enter my username and password. But that doesn't necessarily prove that it's Gary Shepard. It just proves it is someone that knows my username and password. That might be me, or it might be someone with whom I shared my username and password, or maybe they got it from this sticky note I left on my monitor. <laughs> yeah, these bad practices with passwords make it hard to trust clients. Let's look at some other uh, industry standard authentication mechanisms and how they work with the ArcGIS platform. One option is PKI client authentication. With PKI, a user has a public key certificate and a corresponding private key. The user uses the certificate and key to authenticate to a server. The certificate and key are just files, but a great way to protect them is to put them on a pin-protected smart card, like this. This is the same technology as a CAC card, which many of you use daily. Let's insert our card into the smart card reader. And now, if we navigate to an ArcGIS-based application, the browser challenges us for a certificate. Now, this is two-factor authentication. The first factor is our certificate, and the second factor is a PIN. With that certificate, ArcGIS for Server can authenticate us and give us access to GIS services, including this map of stability operations information in Afghanistan. That's a pretty simple user experience. But behind the scenes, ArcGIS for Server uses an LDAP identity store to verify that the certificate we presented corresponds to a valid user. Let's see how PKI looks in a different client, ArcGIS for Desktop. Now if we connect to a GIS server, we present our certificate and our PIN, and then ArcGIS authenticates us and gives us access to maps and other services. This PKI client authentication to ArcGIS for Server uh, it works in desktop, web, and the runtime SDKs, including mobile. You can use this today with the ArcGIS December update. Now let's look at some options that are coming with the June update of ArcGIS. Uh, for example, this browser already has the certificate information from the smart card, so it will use that certificate when we navigate to our organization's portal for ArcGIS. Now we have access to content, both content that we own and content that's been shared with us. This PKI authentication to portal is coming in the ArcGIS June update with corresponding support in desktop, web, and mobile clients. Here's one more feature that's coming soon. Enterprise single sign-on for ArcGIS Online. Single sign-on provides convenience and improves security by having a single identity server for an organization. One popular single sign-on technology is SAML. Starting in June, ArcGIS Online will support SAML single sign-on. And here's how it'll work. Let's retrieve our smart card, because we don't need it this time. Let's say that I work for Harbor Energy. And when I go to ArcGIS Online, I can use my company's internal identity server to log in. You'll need to do this with your organization's identity server. This uh, login form is provided by whatever identity server we're using. Now, when I log in, the identity server, the SAML identity server, provides a certificate to the browser. The browser uses that certificate to prove to ArcGIS Online that we've logged in. 
and then ArcGIS Online grants us access. That same login could be used to provide access to other resources, both inside our organization and elsewhere. Starting in June, you'll be able to use your SAML identity server to provide, uh, to set up authentication to ArcGIS Online. These are a few of the exciting new options for enhanced authentication in ArcGIS. John? Thanks, Gary. I think you said it best. If you're an IT manager, care about security, you need to understand all that. If you're an end user like me, just tell me how to log on and make it easy and make it secure. So thank you very much.